Right, my food shop's just been delivered and they started actually even, I had a text this morning to say that my slot was between 8 and 10. Then I got a um, text to say that it was being delivered between 8 and I think it was like 25 past 8 and it was actually. So um, I'm going to go through what I got. Yes, a lot of it probably is repeat buys. I've got a couple of things that I've incorporated that we haven't either had before or had for a long time. I'm sorry for any rustling. As I said, I have got quite a big order this time. Do excuse the ticking of the kitchen clock. <laughs> so first of all, I'll try and remember also um, the prices. I do have two lots of the Walker's 20 crisps. I've got the meaty ones and then I've got the classic. They're on offer for three pounds each. Now I have got quite a few crisps, but I will not be putting all these in the crisp bin. Um, that's due to the fact that I've got I've purchased more crisps than what we need in the week. So some of these will go over to next week. So I've got the flavours, which is six packets. They were a pound. McCoy's um, Ridge Cut Flame Grilled Steak, which I thought sounded really nice. Don't think we've ever had these before. I'm sorry for the shadow. They were a pound. Uh, a family's favourite is the Watsets. And this is something we haven't had in so long. And I'm not sure. You know, tastes change, do they? Don't they? These are the Frazzles. And there's eight in there. I believe they were a pound as well. It's been an awful long time, if not years, since we've had frazzles. And I just thought, well, see if the family still like them. Milk, I think it's £1.9. Then I've got the cheesy coal salt and potato salad. They're a pound each. Now, I always have potato salad from Iceland. Um, it was well in date last week's. But every member in the family said it tasted different, so I'm not sure if it was just an odd one or whether they've changed the recipe. The packaging's the same, so I'll see how it goes because if they don't like it this time, I may have to stop purchasing it. Um, it's a bit in hit and miss. It's like sometimes they don't like the potato salad from Lidl, but we've always liked this potato salad, but for some reason... Even I could tell the difference, so I don't know what it was. Nobody was ill over it, so as I said, it was well in day. I don't know. So we'll see what happens this time. Utterly butterly, a pound each. I've got two. Um, I want to get some baking done. I'm hoping to get that done. Um, the cheese slices for the burgers. Now, talking about cheese, I ordered Mature Cathedral. Um, five pounds worth of money actually and it is out of stock they sent me a text earlier on as I said and they also say if there's anything missing last week they did that with bread and I thought oh I'm going to have to go out and get bread but they did send me a substitute which I was thankful for this time they didn't actually send any cheese I have got about I would say half a block of cheese but it's not going to last two minutes in our household so that is something I'm going to have to put on my list and either get it um, when we're at the caravan and bring it back or get it beginning next week. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to wait that long, but we shall see. Then I've got the cooked meat. I've got turkey ham, pork and egg roll and the cooked ham. I say my son prefers cooked meat rather than cheese. Then the eggs were a pound. Mayo normally is on the shopping list every week. I know it's not healthy, but we still get it. And the fairy, I've said this before, I prefer the original rather than the pomegranate and honeysuckle. Um, before, I was wondering whether it left a scent, but I do like this one, but I couldn't get the original one, and I wasn't going to run out of fairy washing up liquid. So I've got that one, as I say, I normally go for the larger one from Poundland and or whatever. Most places do um, sell the larger one for £2. I've got these 
my palm on you shouldn't really eat them but if i'm really pushed i like to keep um one of these in a sealed bag in my handbag or rucksack especially if we're out then two lots of rolls one lot will be left out and one frozen for the burgers um and those rolls were a pound each and so was those loaves of bread i think we're on offer two loaves for one pound 80 and again it's the wonder loaf and it's all burton's 50 50. instead of andrex and all the lead and, and all the leading brands i have been getting this one um and we've been finding it okay for toilet rolls and i believe this was nine rolls for two pound fifty i think the kitchen rolls i've got four here i can't believe that i've totally ran out of kitchen towel i think it was one pound thirty i'd like to say um all the family use it and it was an item that we ran out about two days ago but it was never put on the um, shopping list um, previously when I got down to the last roll. Um, as I say, certain items, I'd say family members, usually they're pretty good, but I don't know, for some reason it got missed. But usually when it gets down to the last roll, it goes on the shopping list so I don't run out. Um, two bags of sugar, something I sometimes forget because I don't take sugar. I have sweeteners. And one usually hubby takes to work and the other I keep in the home. Um, I think the tin foil was £1.50. This was on offer and unfortunately I can't remember what the price was and what it was normally. I know it was reduced. I've never had it before. Um, this one, this is vanilla latte. Um, we've been trying the different Nescaf. I've always had Nescaf original granules i just love that coffee so i always have it for instant coffee so we've been going in for these whether i'm going to keep this myself i'm not sure i had actually had um a gift idea for a dear friend of mine so i'm hoping to include these i have brought quite a lot of savers and i do like to take these to the caravan so um, different family members like different savoury, and I'm sorry for any shadows. We've got the Ritz, which are a pound. Hubby's, one of Hubby's favourite is the Tuck Sandwich ones. They were a pound. And Jacob's Crackers. Now, these were on offer, and I didn't actually take the offer up. I think it was three packets for two pounds, so you basically got a free packet. But this was a large shopping haul this time. So I had to keep the cost down as I probably would have done it. I only needed the one. Um, but again, as I said, I usually like to keep the offer and then put it up for the following week. As long as you don't use everything, if it's on offer, like you get, you know, three for the price of two. It's when you start thinking, oh, I've got plenty of crisps, I've got plenty of this, I've got plenty of that. And you eat it all and then it's not a bargain right tucks yes this is my downfall sour cream and chive this is three packets for two pounds again i think they have got sugar in everything has sugar in unbelievable um scones or skins 50p i've got two packs of these i love these um, it's my sweet treat. I slice it, warm it up in the microwave, a little bit of butter, and I love it. I really do. And actually, hubby's been liking it as well. Um, yes, when we've been to Cornwall and Devon, you can't have um, go away without having a cream tea with your cottage cream and your jam. But um, I forego the jam and cream just so I can have the scone. I have not brought biscuits in a while. So I've got two lots of cookies. I think they were two packs for £1.50 on offer. And the Oreos were also two packets for £1.50. And you know, sorry for the rustle. I did get a packet of 12s. I try not get too much chocolate and sweet stuff in. Go for savoury more than anything. But um, 
movie nights and everything, they've been saying, oh, you know, the fantasy um, um, of a chocolate bar. I have been getting a lot of ice creams and lollies, and that's what they've been having, especially when it's been warmer instead of a lot of sweet stuff. Um, something else that I haven't bought for ages, and all my family love them, is the almond fingers. They were a pound. Raspberry and vanilla as well, something else I haven't bought for a while. And then I've got, they're all a pound each. Tomatoes, I think, were, I think these might have been something like 70, 75 pH for the tomatoes and the lettuce. Um, something I really do like, I love chicken paste. I like it on bread and I like it on toast. Fresh meat wise, I've got the diced beef because I am got a meeting through the community centre one evening this coming week so I probably will hand up having the slow cooker on and then I've got two lots of the beef and pork mince for um, spaghetti bolognese or pasta and bolognese um, we've got the pot pot chicken and what I tend to do especially I take some of this to the caravan and we have it with the mozzarella sticks there Something, as far as I remember, we have not tried before is the Young's Signature Breaded Two Lemon and Pepper Fish Fillets. We don't eat enough fish. Hubby loves fish. Go to the chip shop, which is not very often. Normally when we're away, he will have fish. Occasionally I will. I'm not a great lover of fish, but I will, you know, sort of have it. I don't mind if it's in breadcrumbs or batter. I can't eat it any other way. So this is something that we're going to try. I think these were on offer. I like to say they were £2 a box. So £4 for four. So um, sometimes it would be just one each. Sometimes we might have two. It depends on the size of the fish. Um, chicken joints. like to get these in. Um, four for £10. You could get pork, turkey. I think was the other choices and it's four joints for £10. I like to keep these in in case we've got any family coming or there's a few more of us for dinner for our main meal so these can be cooked from frozen so I just get out the number that I need for that meal and let's say I just like to keep some joints in again another repeat buy and again it's six for the price of four is the beef quarter pounders Family love these. We've had different brands. These are Iceland and they still like these and it's brilliant value and these are £2 a box. Something that family are loving, especially myself, is the four minted lamb quarter pounders and even got my in-laws on them because when we went to their barbecue at the weekend, they were cooking these and I so said, I'm supposed to eat a little more beef. Um, I'm not that bothered. I prefer um, chicken or vegetables and that sort of thing. But uh, I do like the minted lamb burgers. Hoping to do um, fajitas this week um, with um, salad and chicken. Something that um, the family have been enjoying is the um, garlic and cheese pizza bread. This is only the second time I've actually purchased this. When I did um, pizzas, when we had family for a pizza evening, um, I did actually end up cooking one of these and they loved it. So I've got another one. So I don't usually get it every week, but it was something that we tried um, a few weeks ago. Everybody seemed to like it. Repeat buys again. Cheeseburger is hubby's. The chicken sweet corn is my son's and I have the plain cheese. Um, we've got cheap chicken burgers. Think, I don't actually remember how much these were. They could have been about £2. As I said, I like chicken and I, I love this. This is what I normally eat. This is my go-to thing. Even at a barbecue, um, if there's chicken or whatever, I like it in the bun with the lettuce, tomato and, yes, naughty mayo. Potato products. I've got two lots of fries and I've got these crispy potatoes. I've said this before, I like putting these on a tray. They don't take that long to cook. And sometimes what I do is um, I might squirt a little bit of barbecue sauce on. Um, this is um, quite near to finishing. I like to put chopped onion on it. 
um, bacon and then finish up with cheese. Yeah, not a healthy meal. They can have it in a bowl as like a snack or sometimes I will put in and grill some sausages or something and have that with that. Veneto mint. I haven't had this in such a long time. Don't think we've had one this year. Used to have this an awful lot, especially at the weekends. This is something I had in my last shopping. And we had the, I think it was Cherry Blast and these, the Exotic Burst. And they, and everybody in the family loved these. So I did actually get um, two boxes. Got lovely flavour, quite strong. But as I said, it, I thought they would prefer the berry ones, but no, they prefer these. So that's what I went. And as you can see, they're a pound each. So was the Veneto. The Pepsi Max, I got 20 cans. I believe they were for £6 on offer. These were half price. These, I believe, were £1.50. Haven't got, haven't bought these before. Tango Tropical Sugar Free. Um, mainly for my son, as I said, he likes to take cans. He does drink tea at work, but sometimes, you know, if they're really busy, have these. I put them in the cool bag for them. Whoever they are, because hubby prefers Pepsi. With ice blocks, and it usually lasts all day and stays cool. So he has got a cold drink. Rather than going to a corner shop near work or um, the petrol station, which you can pay an awful lot for drinks it just keeps the cost down then old faithful the three litre pepsi max and i believe these are on offer two bottles at six litres for three pound fifty so i've got the other bottles actually in my hallway so i haven't got to cut them all the way back through so that is my food shop and what i do now i have jotted down roughly what meals are going to be for the next seven days or so I do have to sort of work out two lots of different meals over the weekend because me and hubby are in the caravan. My son's working all weekend, so he's staying obviously at home. I like to have him have easy meals for him so he hasn't got to spend too long cooking, especially after a long shift. So I'm going to leave it there. Hope you've enjoyed this video and not getting tired of all my Iceland um, hauls. As I say, there is staple items I do have every week and um, that's due to the fact that I know they will eat them but I am trying to try other things and when we're out shopping I do occasionally look in especially for away Morrison's, Sainsbury's, Waitrose all of them just to see if we've got time that is to see if there is anything different so hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye Just a little extra piece because I realised um, there was a couple of items that I did miss. One was the chopped tomatoes. Um, these were on offer three for a pound. This is what I mean by um, occasionally each week. If they've got an off on canned goods, I sort of buy like tomatoes this week. Sometimes they have mushy peas on sale three for a pound and things like that. So that I've got um, cans that can you know, be um, kept up for the following week. Hubby is preferring to have chopped tomatoes rather than baked beans. And with these, I can add them to um, my spaghetti bolognese. And um, Hubby likes them if we have occasionally a mixed grill. So that is one of the items I forgot. And the second one is this shampoo. We haven't had this before. As far as I know, sun kissed raspberry. Um, this is for normal or dry hair shampoo. So um, it says long lasting fragrance. So I'm gonna try this um, as a different shampoo this coming week. So as I said, these were the items that I forgot. Sometimes I rush my shopping because I like to get my freezer stuff away, especially the ice creams.